So if you're nosy like me, you want to know how much people spend and what they spend it on. So that's what I'm bringing you today, except for it's not an average week in my life. It's when I went on the cruise to the Bahamas and how much I spent for the entire trip, the actual ship cost, the taxis, the um, excursions once we docked the ship in the Bahamas, everything. I'm going to be going into detail, everything I bought at the airport, just in case you're as nosy as I am and want to know. I do want to start this off by saying I am very fortunate in what I make and it is because of you guys and you guys watching my videos. So thank you for allowing me to be able to go on trips like this. Let's get into this expenses. I did budget months before doing this and I'm also a very frugal person and so is my mother who I took on this trip. So we are not ones that are going to go to the most extravagant places or pick the most extravagant things. So I was able to take my mom on this trip and I did purchase most of the items. However, she is an independent woman who wanted to help out. And so she did buy some of the stuff, especially some of the food once we were actually out and about. Without further ado, let's get into it. So we'll start with the flights, which we booked first. So we don't like having to go through connecting flights. So we wanted to do a round trip, which we found on American Airlines for around $604 each, which for a grand total of $1,200 and about $8 to fly there and back. And we were going to be flying into Miami, Florida from Kansas City. Now, the day we did that, we actually went and got our nails done for the trip, mine need redone, and for mine, they were about 120 for acrylics and uh, pedicure, and then add on a tip to that. And for my mother's, they were about $110. She got, um, actually she got acrylics and a pedicure too, I just got more designs. So that is how much we spent on nails, and that's pretty much the only prep we did. I do her hair, I do my own hair, so we didn't need to do anything of that. And then as far as the cruise, we went on Carnival Cruises, and they allow you to do the payment in multiple different payments. One payment, and then a few months later, another payment before you went on the cruise. But the total for that, was $1,366 and that got us one room with a balcony and then everything on board was available to us and a cruise at least on the one we went on you could get dining um, dinner time I think every single night where they would give you a three-course meal with an appetizer dinner and dessert now also on the cruise ship there were lots of free things to do there were comedy shows there were musicals games there was lots of food that was free as well there was an entire buffet where we ate out most of the time for especially breakfast and lunch that was entirely with the cost of the cruise that you had already paid there was also a pizza place and soft serve ice cream that you could get 24 7 there was also a swimming pool and hot tubs were free to go in while you were on the cruise waiting to dock wherever you were headed as well and those were completely free of charge and then once you got to the Bahamas the free things to do were of course to just go to the beach and also to just roam around um, I'll get into the prices of what we actually paid there in a minute but now we do actually live long ways away from the airport that would be taking us to Miami to board the cruise. So we actually stayed in a hotel that night prior, also because the flight was leaving around 5 a.m. So we wanted to be close. And that hotel was $120. And then when we got to Miami, we took a taxi to our hotel, which was $24. And then the hotel that we were staying at in Miami was a little bit more bougie and it was $276, but it had a very nice view. If you watched the vlog, you saw that it was a very nice room. And it was really nice because we were so exhausted that we pretty much just slept there the rest of the night until we boarded the cruise the next day. I also forgot to mention that my car stayed at the hotel that we stayed at and we had to pay for it to be able to stay there and park there while we flew without having to pay the charges at the airport and that ended up being 39.60 where it would have been i think close to 100 if we parked at the airport now i'm just going to categorize all of these into one the uber rides that we had to take ended up costing $70.88. We took four different Uber rides, especially in Miami. We really didn't have a choice. That's just what we had to do. And I, we felt safer Uber rather than taxi. However, they're both kind of weird to 
get in the car of a stranger. But once we got to the hotel in Miami, we ended up ordering in, because like I said, we slept the whole time. We ordered in Uber Eats to the hotel. We ordered some Pizza Hut for 51. 18 which is insane for what we got we got like one pizza one brownie but the charges to actually get it delivered were crazy so i wouldn't recommend that but at that point we were exhausted we had made a target trip which ended up being 65 dollars 31 cents for me and then my mom paid 57 dollars 79 cents and this was just to get, you know, big bottles of sunscreen that we couldn't take on the plane, a beach towel, snacks that we wanted to bring, especially for me since I'm gluten free. I wanted to bring some snacks that I could actually eat on the cruise. Now, once we got on the actual cruise, what I didn't know is that they were going to charge my card only. And my mom had kind of mentioned that she wanted to basically get everything on board that we would want to buy that wasn't free and she was really bummed because it all went on my card since i had booked the trip but you know that's totally fine she ended up paying me back actually which is so sweet she didn't have to do that but the cruise spending was 116 dollars and 70 cents which seems like a lot but it actually got us i think two meals for two people room service because you know there were times we just didn't want to leave and there were also four virgin strawberry daiquiris that we got at the comedy show and then on one of the beaches hi kitty kitty and I also got a beach bag because we needed one and it was $30. So overall, we weren't too overwhelmed by the actual things that we had to buy on the cruise. And as far as the room service food, it wasn't outrageous. And I, I mean, I believe that there were meals for like $10, $11. There were also lots of things that were free on the room service menu as well. So then we would stop in Half Moon K in the Bahamas for our first trip and here we bought the clamshell excursion which was basically just to have some coverage over yourself when you were on the beach and that's pretty much the majority of what you do at half moon k you're not allowed to go into the island because it's dangerous so you're just pretty much stuck on the beach which stuck on the beach you know um but we are very very pale and so we decided that would be nice to be able to get out of the sun and it was incredible and it was only 35 dollars to buy one of those so then we got back on the boat and the next day we docked in nassau bahamas and this is where we spent a pretty penny on doing the Atlantis excursion. One of the main reasons is because there's a movie called Holiday in the Sun with Mary-Kate and Ashley that was my love as a child and this is where they filmed it. So we ended up getting a day pass for two which ended up being $439.98. So it was quite a bit of money but it was beautiful there. There were places to eat inside and there was you know animals to look at. There, there was so much to do and we didn't even do a ton because it was so hot but it was beautiful there. I mean, if you don't want to spend that much, you can just roam the Bahamas. I'm sure there's so much more to do. That's just what we chose to do. Um, and, and as far as at Atlantis, you did have to buy other things if you wanted them. So we bought some snacks for $40 and 70 cents. And then we ate at Olives for lunch. And it was like this kind of fancier restaurant. And we spent 65 65 for both of us. Once we were headed back to the ship in Nassau, we saw that there were little booths of souvenir shops. And so we love to just support the little souvenir shops that they open up. And we spent around $50 cash there, but we got some cute things to especially bring home to my family so that was nice so then we took the flight back home which i already told you the price of since that was a round trip but at the airport we did spend because we spent most of the day there waiting for our flight we spent 81 dollars 98 on airport food just to get us through food and drinks and then once we were back in kansas we did spend the night in the hotel again because we got home i think around 1 a.m and so that hotel was 110 dollars you can actually see the difference between like Kansas and Miami, Florida. It's insane. We also did have the extra charge of $200 for two different COVID tests because we had gone to a free COVID test, I believe, here in Kansas. However, once we tried to put it in on the website as like verification that we did not have COVID, they said they weren't accepting it. And so we were panicking because there was no time to go get another one. It said what it needed to say. And so we were so confused. So we went ahead and we booked because you can book 
for the actual cruise to give you a COVID test to make sure you can get through. So we went ahead and booked those. However, it's non-refundable, but we knew if we got there and the papers were wrong, we couldn't board the cruise and that would pretty much delay all our plans. And so we went ahead and booked that and then we went up to the counter, showed them our papers we already had and they were like, yeah, that's good, that'll work. So we wasted 200, but that's just something you kind of have to you kind of have to figure out for yourself you know do you want to miss the entire cruise because you didn't pay it or do you want to maybe not ever see that money again and that's what we chose as far as cash i took out 300 dollars cash and i ended up leaving with 140 dollars. so i spent 160 dollars, which i think was just mainly on like tips and drinks and little things that you know, you just needed to have cash for. The cruise was four nights and five days. And then of course we spent that day prior in Miami and then a day prior and a day after in the city in Kansas near the airport. And so the grand total of what we paid for this trip is $4,757.19. I am not proud. <laughs> I'm not proud of that number. I'm happy we went. I'm happy I got to bring my mom along. I'm happy that she was willing to chip in with some things that helped the um, the burden of that chunk of money that was spent. Thankfully, I was able to do this over several months, you know, with the flights being, I think I bought the flights back in maybe January, February, and then the cruise over the next few months. So I did split it up that way. So it wasn't like all at once. And then, you know, I spent nothing else the month of the cruise, which was in July until actually being on the cruise and you know, the hotels we booked prior. So I think that's the way to do it. If you're going to do it, it, it is a lot of money and I know that some people will never be able to afford that. So I'm very, very, very grateful for being able to do this. Um, and especially to be able to take my mom to do it with me because I think that's such a special experience. But yeah, I just wanna let you guys know, I am not proud of this number. I am not bragging to you, especially because I'm a very frugal person. And if I can spend the least amount of money, I will. I just think that, you know, traveling and different experiences like these are worth your money over a luxurious item, but that's just me. Um, and so, yeah, let me know how much you have spent on a vacation what's the most you've ever spent would you ever spend this much to go on a vacation let me know your favorite vacation down below and if you want me to do more what i spent in a week or what i spent in a month or anything like that i would love to show you a more realistic week in my life of spending because i can tell you it's nowhere near this and i feel ashamed that this is my first video doing this but I hope you guys all realize that, you know, vacations are just more expensive in general. So yeah, thank you for being nosy and wanting to know how much I spent in a week. If you haven't watched the vlog of us going on a cruise to the Bahamas, I will link that down below to watch and let me know where I should go next as well. Okay, bye.